This is NDTV. And you're watching Classics. Welcome to Follow the Leader. Over the next 30 minutes, I'm hoping to get an insight into the new Jayalalita one hears so much about. A more mellower Jayalalita, one who's willing to admit that she may have made mistakes. A more accessible Jayalalita. But uh, it's the kind of insight that normally would have come over breakfast. But it's already at about 3 o'clock in the afternoon, and Jayalalita still hasn't even emerged from that guest house across the road to begin her campaign for the day here in the hot region of northern Tamil Nadu. So perhaps this is going to be a show which is less about insights into Jayalalitha's dietary preferences and more a lesson in how political icons are built and worshipped Tamil Nadu style. <laughs> Joining from BJP. Oh, you're joining from BJP? Yeah, yeah. I was general secretary of the BJP state legal cell. Okay. Now we are uh, quitting from this party That's and joining another. with it. You're joining ADMK? Yeah. Yes. yeah. Why? I, because the policy is not bad, is not good. Moreover, they are not respecting the people as well as the party people. Hmm. They are running the party like a managing director party. Uh, Private BJP. limited party. BJP. Yeah, yeah. But uh, AIDMK also is about individuals, no? I mean, no, no. Is, uh, is supreme. Is there, you feel that you will have... Because you see, God's supreme power hmm. to control not only the party, but also the state. Only one woman is fighting to the all other, gents, all the... Gents, because... Uh, gents. gents and yeah, yeah. other all political leaders. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because, because she is having only, full capacity. She is the only great so, lady so, against whom three, five persons are opposing her. Hmm. You may know that in those days, the Pandavas. Yes. Now, present Pandavas, all Pandavas are collected like that. Duryodhana, Zaguni, and Duchodhana. Uh, yeah, from, from yeah. Magabharata. Yeah. In Ramayana, Ravana, and Vali. Now the five peoples are collected themselves as and madam five is, peoples. What is, what is she? Madam is the king maker as well as the protector of the public. There were these five peoples cannot uh, attack her. She, they cannot come over. She is the queen or the king maker? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> When Jayalalitha finally leaves at the almost unlikely time of 4.45 in the evening, it is to stop and inaugurate a local AIA-DMK office near the town of Veluparam, where we are. It's an opportunity to pause and reflect on the Jayalalitha story. How did a conventional Tamil Brahmin or Tam Bram girl from Mysore go on to become one of Tamil Nadu's most enduring and enigmatic political icons? Well, by all accounts, Jayalalitha says she's a reluctant politician. She was forced first into the world of film and later into the world of politics. At a very young age, her mentor in both these worlds was the late MGR, who you can see here in some of these images inside the party office. And even today, she is very careful to ensure that she remains the sole claimant and the sole spokesperson for the MGR legacy. <laughs> Thank you very much. 
ஒரு நரமை உடன் பிறப்பதிலே இத்தொகுதிகள் திரு மதத்திற்குரிய வாக்காள பெருமக்களே உங்கள் அனைவருக்கும் முதற்கண் எனது கனிவான வணக்கத்தை தெரிவித்துக் கொள்கிறேன் இரண்டாயிரத்தி ஒன்று தேர்தலின் போது நான் உங்களுக்கு தந்த வாக்குறுதிகள் அனைத்தையும் நிறைவேற்றியிருக்கிறேன் அனைத்து மாணவ மாணவிகளுக்கும் இலவசமாக சைக்கிள் வழங்கும் திட்டம் வேறு எந்த மாநிலத்திலும் இல்லாத அளவுக்கு இந்தியாவிலேயே குறைந்த கட்டணத்தில் வீட்டு உபயோகிப்பாளர்களுக்கு மின்சாரம் குடிசைகளுக்கு இலவச மின்சாரம் விவசாய பொம்பு கட்டுகளுக்கு இலவச மின்சாரம் ஒன்பது ஆண்டுகளில் மத்திய அரசு டீசல் பெட்ரோல் விலையை ஐந்து முறை உயர்த்தினாலும் பஸ் கட்டணங்களை உயர்த்தாமல் in 2004 you done a a very strident campaign against Sonia Gandhi's foreign origins. You don't feel the need to raise that. Is that not an issue for an assembly election, you think? This assembly election is to decide who is going to rule the state. It's not a, it's, it's not a, uh, it's not a national election. That's why you've not raised it. I'm only raising issues which are relevant to this campaign. Ma'am, there's a formidable alliance against you. Uh, there's, there's... I have an alliance with the people. Okay. See you later. Ma'am, I'll talk to you again a little later yes, if that's possible. Yes. Yeah. Thanks. This is Tiruvannamalai. As soon as the meeting is over. Oh, the last stop. After that. All right. Okay. Yeah. 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 தமிழ்நாட்டில் அவ்வளோ நன்மை செய்கிறாங்க அம்மா அதனால் ஆறு தடவை பார்க்க வந்திருக்காங்க அம்மா பார்க்குறாங்க இல்லை அம்மா முதல்ல புரட்சி தலைவர் எம்ஜிஆர் அப்புறம் அம்மா அதுக்கோசரம் நீங்கள் எல்லாம் வரீங்களா அந்த கிரேஸ் எம்ஜிஆர் கிரேஸா இல்லை அம்மா கிரேஸா அம்மா கிரேஸி அம்மா கிரேசி அம்மா கிரேசி அம்மா அம்மா கிரேசி ஏன் ஏங்க நல்ல தைரியமாக எல்லாத்தையும் நல்ல தைரியமாக பண்ணுறாங்க எல்லாமே எல்லாமே நாட்டுக்கு நல்ல நல்ல நிறைய பண்ணுறாங்க சைக்கிள் கொடுத்துருக்காங்க பாட்டை பத்தம் கொடுத்துருக்காங்க நிறைய கொடுத்துருக்காங்க அம்மா தான் அம்மாவோட கிரேசி தலைவர்களுக்கு <laughs> 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 So this is what it's like to be an embedded journalist on the Jayalalitha road show. From those babble of voices that we heard back there, giving us some idea of some of the reasons why Jay Lalita may have been able to battle the curse of anti incumbency which has been the bane of every Tamil Nadu chief minister since 1989 but of course it's always hard to tell at these gatherings between those who are genuine AIDMK loyalists and those who may be not necessarily the party faithful it's all though very much part of the theatrics of Dravidian politics, those crowds straining at the ropes, trying to get a glimpse of the leader. The leader herself, very much a solitary campaigner. The candidate that she's endorsing standing behind her, an almost surreal sight with his arms outstretched. Jailalitha, uh, barely referring to him even uh, once or twice. She travels and she campaigns alone. There are no alliance leaders that join her. There are no other party leaders that are seen side by side with her. She's a one-woman army by her own description and I suspect she prefers to keep it that way. Singhotian, your uh, organizing all the campaign on behalf of madam for how many elections now seven elections election campaign you've done seven seven elections campaign how do you organize it only party or organizations and party people and public cooperation mm. and uh, uh, it's a places uh, 
madam ke road side in camping you are always waiting there with the yeah, two leaves symbol uh, yeah, to yeah. welcome madam yeah yeah how come people have such craze to see uh, madam always hours, for hours waiting they wait uh, for 3 4 yeah, hours uh, yeah you see i want to ask you you are one of the few uh, leaders of the admk who we see with madam uh, where are the other leaders where is this next generation of admk leadership one of the leader uh, madam mm. throughout india and mass leader and uh, knowledgeable leaders mm. in throughout india mm. and which places uh, only own leaders but af- madam. after madam who will no, be there no, only madam <laughs> no but every party there has to be a plan for succession after uh, indira gandhi there was rajiv gandhi after that sonia gandhi so after madam who will come will you come no only madam <laughs> <laughs> how can that be Another. but is it a democratic party it's Another not the alternative uh, places fill up uh, only madam in admk only madam yeah. nobody else yes no. after madam after madam <laughs> After madam madam <laughs> okay another question sorry sir thanks thanks very much sir <laughs>